on the range with uh, Tatiana Whitlock and running the Walther PDP today. I was running a compact with uh, Surefire 300 light uh, in nine millimeter. And uh, we were jumping up and down, as you can see, flat range. They brought us some pads out later, which was nice, but uh, this was her uh, shit hits the fan class. And so we were working multiple shooting positions, everything from uh, typical two-handed standing all the way down to prone support hand and everything in between up and down pistol performed beautifully um, took a little time to get used to the the red dot and the and the trigger but uh, it's a, it was brand new it's brand new pistols brand new to everyone so that's a pretty natural and once i think all of us got the feel for that uh, the the groups tightened up and, and we had a good time it's a lot of fun um, no failures no malfunctions no no uh, failures to feed or extract um, and so it was good training today. What's great about the pistol is it's, uh, it has a very low bore axis, so it's right above your hand, and then the elevated uh, red dot, you really have to lean, uh, lead with your wrist to pick up the front sight and, uh, and the red dot. But once that's your habit, and it should be really your habit anyway, but uh, once, once that habit's picked up, it's, it's right on. And so groups were tight. I didn't have you know, any flyers, any errors where I was you know, trying to uh, find the target in the in the side at all. So you've got a uh, uh, an expanded magwell to an extent, and then a spot for your pinky to hit. And so there's not really a bad way to grip the weapon. It kind of trues itself um, when you grab it. And and with with this course, we were actually shooting um, dominant hand, support hand, uh, and then actually switching the grips and actually shooting left-handed as a right-hander. Um, and so that's not something that I practice frequently and it felt the same both ways. So, so no issues there at all. I have a lot more red dot time on a carbine than a pistol. Um, so it's, I'm still adjusting to the, a different kind of presentation to get the red dot in front of my eyes. But uh, um, that's not a function of the sight or the pistol. That's of my training experience. So. It's, it's well designed. It's ergonomically well designed. There, it's definitely a two stage. There's some take up and then a very consistent break and a very consistent reset. So um, it's just like getting in a new car. Um, the brakes are different, the steering wheel's different, the acceleration is different. So with the pistol, it's the same, but it was natural. It was fast and it wasn't something you had to work around. You just had to uh, get a feel for. No, it, it, it ran uh, very similar to um, the new Striker fired. SIGs or Glock, if that's what you run, this, this pistol's gonna feel just as natural. There's not gonna be any, any sort of training curve at all.